The leaks are heating up and things just got real. For the first time ever, we have a tangible look at what Apple has in store for its iPhone 17 lineup. And let's just say it's a bold leap in a whole new direction. Forget subtle design tweaks. Apple seems ready to redefine what an iPhone looks and feels like. Dummy units based on internal Apple schematics have surfaced, revealing dramatic differences across the board. And yes, the iPhone 17 Air is real. Apple is switching things up big time. Let's break down everything we now know about the upcoming iPhone 17 series. This is Technology Review, and we're diving deep into what could be Apple's most significant iPhone revamp in a decade. A shift in design language, goodbye plus hello air. The biggest jaw dropper? Apple is retiring the plus branding. For the first time since the iPhone 6 Plus, we're seeing a complete departure from that naming convention. In its place is something sleeker and lighter, iPhone 17 Air. This new model isn't just a rename. It's an entirely reimagined device. It's thin, ridiculously thin. According to insider leaks, the iPhone 17 Air will measure only 5.88 millimeters thick. Yes, thinner than many current gen tablets. That's not just design minimalism. It's a direct play to make the iPhone feel as featherweight and ergonomic as possible. And to make things even more radical, Apple has redesigned the rear camera layout into a horizontal camera bar. Think pixel style aesthetics, but dialed into Apple's premium design sensibilities. But that ultra slim build raises a big question. What about battery life? Thinness versus battery, can Apple pull it off? Every time a smartphone gets thinner, the concern about battery life grows. With a 5.88 millimeters frame, there's obviously less space for a large battery, so Apple has to get clever. The rumor mill is buzzing with speculation about stacked battery designs, similar to those used in electric vehicles. These batteries are denser, more efficient, and could be the key to maintaining all-day battery life even in ultra-slim chassis. That kind of tech isn't just innovation, it's necessary. If Apple manages to blend a lightweight form factor with real-world longevity, the iPhone 17 Air could be the most portable and practical iPhone ever made. The Pro Max gets a whole new body. Now, let's shift gears and talk about the iPhone 17 Pro Max, Apple's juggernaut flagship. Unlike the ultra-slim Air model, this device is going thicker. Yes, you read that right. Leaks from Ice Universe suggest the iPhone 17 Pro Max will increase in thickness to 8.63 millimeters, up from the 8.25 millimeters seen in the iPhone 16 Pro Max. That's more than a 6% bump in girth, and it's not just for show. The purpose, battery, and thermal performance. A thicker chassis opens up more room for a beefier battery, and with power-hungry tasks like 4K video editing, gaming, and real-time AI processing becoming common on phones. Thermal efficiency is key. This could be Apple's answer to high-performance demands, making sure the Pro Max doesn't overheat or throttle performance under pressure. Subtle, but significant. Pro camera layout adjustments. At first glance, the iPhone 17 Pro models might not look drastically different, but a closer inspection reveals a notable tweak. The camera module has been reshuffled. Apple appears to be relocating the flash, microphone, and LiDAR scanner to the far right side of the module. Why? It likely has to do with spatial optimization inside the chassis, potentially to make room for larger image sensors or better optical image stabilization systems. And then there's the real kicker. The Pro Max might get a new generation periscope zoom lens, taking telephoto photography to the next level. Expect better low-light performance, AI-driven cinematic effects, and a significant boost in computational photography capabilities. Apple's new design philosophy, one size fits all? Some insiders suggest that Apple may be converging its size strategy across the lineup. Both the iPhone 17 Air and Pro Max are rumored to share nearly identical dimensions, not just in terms of height and width, but even screen size and bezel thickness. While the ultra-thin profile is still unique to the Air, this uniformity could simplify the buying decision. You'd choose between these models based on features, not form factor. 
This approach also streamlines Apple's production pipeline, making it easier and cheaper to manufacture multiple devices at scale with fewer design variations. Material Matters Aluminum for Everyone? In a surprising twist, Apple might be going aluminum only for the entire iPhone 17 family. Traditionally, aluminum was reserved for non-pro models, while stainless steel or titanium were used in premium iPhones. But now, there are strong signs that even the pro models will switch to aluminum. Why the change? Lighter weight, improved heat dissipation, more sustainable and recyclable. Apple has long been focused on its environmental impact, and aluminum is a win for both performance and sustainability. But don't expect a downgrade. Apple's custom aluminum alloys are incredibly strong and should provide just as much durability without the added bulk. Under the hood, a 19 Bionic and Smarter AI. Now, let's talk performance. Apple is expected to debut its next-gen A19 Bionic chip in the Pro models, bringing with it massive gains in energy efficiency, AI computing power, graphics performance. These chips are said to be built on a more refined 3 nanometers process, enabling smarter background processing and improved app responsiveness. If you're into gaming, 4K video workflows, or even AR experiences, this will be the chip to beat. Meanwhile, the standard iPhone 17 and Air could feature an A18 chip, which still promises top-tier performance while consuming less power than previous generations. Power up! charging, and battery life enhancements. Here's a rumor that could finally address a long-time iPhone gripe. Charging speeds. Also, expect better battery longevity over time. Apple is aiming to reduce battery wear, so your iPhone 17 won't start feeling sluggish after a year or two of heavy use. What's next? The AI and display wildcards. As we inch closer to the iPhone 17 launch event, a few big unknowns still linger. Under display, Face ID. Could this finally be the year Apple hides its Face ID tech completely beneath the screen? AI-powered features. With iOS 18 expected to be Apple's biggest AI leap yet, will the iPhone 17 hardware unlock next-gen on-device AI tools? Display enhancements. Will we see true 1 Hz to 120 Hz promotion displays across all models? What about micro-LED? These questions remain unanswered for now. Final thoughts. The beginning of a new iPhone era? Let's call it what it is. Apple is taking risks again. The iPhone 17 lineup represents a bold pivot in design, engineering, and product strategy. The Air model is ultra-thin, ultra-portable, and a fresh take on the mid-tier iPhone. The Pro Max gets thicker but more powerful with better battery and performance under load. A unified design language and aluminum bodies could redefine how premium iPhones are made. If all these leaks prove accurate, the iPhone 17 family will offer something that hasn't been felt in years. Genuine excitement over Apple's hardware innovation. As always, this is Technology Review, and we'll be tracking every leak, rumor, and official announcement as we get closer to launch. Hit subscribe, stay tuned, and get ready, because the iPhone 17 might just be the phone that changes everything.